Here's how to get started with Logly. You have two choices, add your own data or explore demo data. Adding your own data will allow you to ingest your own log data, but I'm going to use demo data for now. Demo data is installed. Now we can go to the search and we can have a look around the tool. I'm just going to do a quick search for failed purchases. 67 events. Expand one of these. I can see all the fields are automatically parsed upon ingestion. There's my failed purchase. So what I'd like to do now is see what happened in the last few events before this one. So I'll view surrounding events. And there you can see just three events back. There's a Java stack trace exception, Java array list 635. So in just a matter of moments, I was able to find failed purchases and very likely the root cause. Now, other than search, we can also drill into the data using the dynamic field explorer. I'm going to have a look at the Apache statuses and I'm going to select a filter on 500s. So now I'm seeing all of the logs with Apache status 500 in the past hour. From here, what I'd like to do is create an alert. I'll call it 500 errors. And I could have Logly also create a saved search for me at the same time that it saves this alert. Back out a bit, undo that filter, and I'm going to use the Field Explorer to create a dashboard for me, starting with a single chart. You can do pie charts, bar charts, timelines. In fact, I'll do a timeline. And then I can save this and then put it on a dashboard. This will take me to the chart editing section. And then if we go over to dashboards, we can create those as well. You can see here I have a Apache dashboard already set up. And it didn't take much time because I used pre-configured dashboards. We can go and add another one as well. Let's just do Linux. Add that one. And that's how you can quickly and easily visualize your data. And if you'd like to see the logs in real time, you can navigate over to Live Tail. I'll enter something to the search for. We'll do error. So now this is in near real time, showing me the logs as they're flowing in to Logly. Additionally, if you need help, you can come over to the help page and click live chat to ask any questions that you need answered. And there's even a navigation to allow you to jump between the different SolarWinds application management tools.